Hey everybody, welcome to this Google Docs tutorial basic video. In this episode, I'm going to talk about how to utilize these tabs up at the top and how to you know use them to, to speed up your workflow and to get your work done faster. So at the top, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different tabs. There's a few of these that you really need to pay attention to. The file button you probably used before, that's how you save things and download things. The edit button you probably used before to copy and paste. However, what I really think is important and that you should learn are the insert, the format, and the tools tabs. So the insert tab, what, what you can do there is you can insert images, you can insert drawings, you can insert charts that you created in Google Sheets. You can insert tables. Tables are so powerful in Google Docs. And look, it's as easy as this. You just you know tell it what the what's the, what size of the matrix you want to be, and you're good. You can add footnotes. You can add lines to like space things between different. Um, maybe you want to utilize different things. You got page number where it can give a page number at the top. You can do a page count. The header and footers are amazing. And you can also give it table of contents. So the insert tab alone will save you a lot of time understanding format as well because although you might know how to just you know do a quick bold or italicize there's some other ones in here that you're going to use from time to time whether that's the superscript and the subscript or maybe just paragraph styles or columns or line spacing I can you know I can't even count the amount of times that I had to change everything to double space or single space based on what teachers wanted me to do so, you know, it's really important to understand that tab. And the tools tab is powerful too because that's where you're going to do word count. That's where you can do spell check. You know, there's so many things in there to just really perfect your writing piece and make sure that you get the best grade that you can get. I hope that, you know, through this, and there's also add ons. Add ons, there's so many different things there. Four of them that I have here I have the Easy Bib that just does a quick biography or bibliography. I have a highlight tool, I have a, like a chart diagram that does flowcharts, and a thesaurus. This stuff, understanding this stuff, although it may take a little bit of time to understand it, it will save you so much time in the long run. I can't recommend it enough. Um, I hope this helps. If it did, just give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, I am signing out. I'll see you guys next time.